In this video, you will learn how to install multiple macOS versions on your Hackintosh. These OS will be installed in a single SSD drive. I have this 256 gigabytes of SSD drive, and I will use the Dell Optiplex 3080 Micro. The method that I will use is the new guide that can be found on the description box below. Check that one up. All the foundational knowledge can be learned on that video. You will need at least 64 gigabytes of USB flash drive a computer with Windows 7, 10, or 11 installed so that you can flash Ventoy into that USB and transfer all these files that are found on my website. As for the EFI, make sure that it is compatible for Monterey to Sequoia. You can check on GitHub for the most documented EFI around with the same hardware that you have. If you want to create your own EFI, Dortania's install guide is the way to go. Insert the Ventoy USB flash drive and turn on the computer. I will press F2 while booting to enter the BIOS settings. I will set the BIOS to its default settings. While on the boot sequence, I will make the USB flash drive as the first one, then set the secure boot to disable. Exit the BIOS and let's boot in the Ventoy USB flash drive. Select the Windows 10 portable by pressing down on your keyboard and press enter twice. This will load Windows 10 on your USB, wait for it. On the taskbar, click the Disk Genius program. On the left, select your target drive. If you have MBR file system, you need to convert it into GPT file system. You can right-click the drive, then select Convert to Guide or GPT. Right-click the drive, then select Delete All Partition. Click Yes when prompted. Right-click above and select Create ESP Partition. Uncheck Create MSR Partition, then click OK. Click the Save All button on the upper left, then click Yes when prompted. Double-click the ESP partition, open a file explorer, and let's copy the EFI folder into the desktop. Go into the desktop and unzip the EFI folder. Drag the extracted EFI folder into that Disk Genius window. Click Yes when prompted and click the Complete button afterwards. Close the Disk Genius program. Locate the R drive image program on your USB flash drive and install it. Go through the installation process on your screen and open it when prompted. Click the Restore button on your screen, then locate the RDR file. In this case, I will choose Monterey. Click the source above, then click the unallocated disk space below. Make sure you're targeting the correct drive if you have multiple drives on your computer. Click Next, then the Start button to initiate the restoration of that RDR file. This will take some few minutes. It will vary if you have a faster drive speed. Once done, you have two options from hereafter. This Monterey has 46 gigabytes of disk space. If you want to have more space for this partition, you will need to boot into Monterey and expand the partition using disk utility. But if you're satisfied with 46 gigabyte disk space, you can proceed to restore the next RDR file. Let's do the option one. Close R drive image and restart your computer. Remove the USB flash drive and boot into the Monterey SSD drive. Go all through the out-of-the-box experience of macOS. I will fast-forward this boring part until on the desktop. Open Disk Utility Program. Then click the Show All Drives on the middle. Click your drive on the left side. Then click the Partition button on the right. Click the Free Space area. Then click the Minus button below. Then on the Size portion, I will put 60 gigabytes. Click the Apply button afterwards. Then click the Partition button. Then click OK. This will now proceed to expand the Monterey SSD storage space, wait for it to finish, then restart your computer. Now after the restart, we need to boot again to the Ventoy USB flash drive and go into Windows 10 Portable. From here, install the R drive image program, then the same procedure, restore the RDR file into the next untitled disk space. After successfully restoring the RDR file, the option one step ends from here. Again, if you want to expand the restored RDR image, which was Ventura, go back to Option 1 and do the same process. You can refer to this timeline, which the Option 1 started. For the Option 2, we will just restore every RDR file of your choice to the next unallocated disk space. Each RDR file has these restored disk space. Since I do only have 256 gigabytes of storage, I will not expand the storage space, which was discussed a while ago in Option 1. Now, I will restore the Sonoma RDR file, then restore this to the unallocated disk space available on my SSD. Once the restoration is done, just click the main menu, 
then click the Restore button. Repeat the restoration process until you are satisfied. Once done with all the steps, you can now reboot and remove the Ventoy USB flash drive. Now if you've done it correctly and with a proper EFI configuration and BIOS settings, you will now be greeted with these variety of Mac OS. Now the next thing that you will do is that to boot in every Mac OS version, set everything up and you can now show them off. That's about it for this video. Feel free to comment down below to help the algorithm of this video reach those that may have interest on it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.